Hey guys, Sammy Marco here. Today we're going to be looking at the way that the American name of the United States has changed. And the name didn't actually change, but the way that the grammar is when saying the United States is, or the United States are, has changed. So basically this is on the it's website like called, called The Language, language Nerds. Nerds. Um, it's, just um, it's just kind of about language, grammar, grammar etc. They, they got Instagram. it Instagram. I'll, I'll put it down below if you're interested. Basically, basically it, said, it, says it says the grammatical change that took the United States, States from are to is. So, so probably, you probably, you haven't probably noticed, but the United States has slightly changed its name, so to speak. Some countries change their names over the course of time, but the way the U.S. has done it is very different. We say it differently because the change is so subtle that it's barely even noticeable. Before the Lincoln administration, they were the United States. After Lincoln, also the United States. Can you spot the difference? Of course you can't. It's both the word United followed by the word States, and it's still how it is, and that's how it was even, you know, when the country was started. So you can't see the difference because it's not in the change of the words or spelling, so of course you can't. The change is purely in grammar, grammatical. Before, people said the United States are. Now, people say the United States is. The idea was to draw us away from the original idea of independent states, like Virginia, Maryland, California, Idaho, Montana, etc., and forming a, voluntarily un a voluntary union, aka the United States, the states are that are united. And the idea was to take the nation of provinces called states to a collection of states forming the whole of the United States. Now, no one sees the United States as plural. It is one nation. Under God. Um, and yeah, it's, it's a super weird change, but before Lincoln, they would say the United States are. You know, the United States are implementing a new policy, you know, talking about the federal government because it's going to apply to all the states. So it's super weird how this changed. This was summed up by Shelby Foote that goes along these lines. Before the war, it was said that the United States are. Grammatically, it was spoken that way and thought of as a collection of independent states. And after the war, it was the United States is, as we say today, without being self-conscious of this change at all. And that sums up what the war accomplished what the war, the Civil War accomplished, it made us an is. It basically took the North, at least, and made them all feel like one, part of one, I mean, they were technically one nation, but it really made them get that sense of nation, nationalism, I guess, technically, and uh, it basically, you know, they got them all together, obviously, to fight the South, and then once the South was defeated, it kind of just turned into the whole country just being one, you know, because I think back then, you know, travel from, like, Georgia to New York would take weeks. So, like, there was less nationalism, and there was more of, like, just, you know, provincism, if that's a thing. Like, my town, you know, my my county, or if, I don't even know if they had counties back then, but basically my area. And then it went to nation. And that's, I mean, America was technically founded on the fact that states are, states should be the main government, the federal government should be you know, behind. It's in the Tenth Amendment of the Constitution. And yeah, that's, that's it. That's, I mean, this is just so weird. There's a, there's a funny little comment, just, you know, one of those weird copy and paste weird things. I don't think it's real at all. But anyway, this is just a little thing. You know, these are the videos on this channel, something simple, something interesting. And yeah, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want more content and have a great day. Thank you so much for watching this video. My name is Sammy Marco, the one who made the video, obviously. And I am grateful that you watched it. Um, please like and subscribe if you like the content. And I also go, if you haven't already, go look at my main channel called Sammy Marco, spelled the same with two R's. And that's the one I'm really trying to build up, trying to show you the interesting, weird places and things and crazy facts and all that stuff around the world. So thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Peace.